Hey everyone, 460 Grand Avenue in Oakland, California is right now, as you can see there, an empty lot. But it is the focus of a 74 unit, five story building that will have homes that are priced from a rental perspective at 60% over the median for the area. About 30%, if memory serves, of the units will be Section 8. In other words, and why Section 8? Well, for one thing, the developers bridge housing, which is known for making quality low-income developments, got a Section 8 loan from the government to build this facility. And so you have to give these vouchers so that people who ordinarily would not be able to afford these beautiful units, which will be in the heart of Adams Point, will be able to afford them. Here comes a controversy that has played out on the listservs, and there are some who are concerned about a certain type of person or element that will populate those homes. That is scary to me because 50 years ago, or 40 years ago, or 30 years ago, when you use the term those people or others or people like not who aren't artists or any other code word for a cool young hipster white person it was said that you were talking about someone who was low income and black fast forward to today I'm going to say this straight out because I'm upset and this person's upset me we have people in my neighborhood like Vivian Romero who say that they are concerned that we're going to get we're not going to get artists we're going to get and her implication her, e her email was people who are undesirable and I wrote back, who are you to say who is desirable or undesirable at Adam's point? Just because a person can't afford more than a certain level of rent does not mean that they're bad people. And I have been fortunate enough to know people who have had very little money, who've gotten a lot of money and became rich. People who sadly had a lot of money, who lost it, filed for bankruptcy, and they are not rich anymore. You don't judge people that way. And furthermore, when the Vivians of the world put that language out, the implication is that they're thinking that they are the better person to judge who should be in their neighborhood as they walk down the street. Now, Vivian contacted me afterward, but her words didn't make it any better. And I said I was ready, am ready, to go to battle. What I mean by battle is this making a vlog to let you know what's going on, turning any conversation in part into an Audi. Because people need to be aware of how others in their neighborhood think. I am personally, this is a momentary aside, sick and tired of walking down the street at Adams Point and seeing people hold their head down as opposed to holding their head up and saying hello to you. Uh, and Or looking at you, particularly I'm just being blunt, if they're white and acting like you're some sort of threat by their behavior and so my point is if you're in Oakland and you think that way please move I don't want Oakland to advance in that way if you will that's not really advancement at all it's a digression if you're going to live in Oakland you've got to be comfortable with different types of people yeah we have crime but it doesn't mean the Dannys of the world and Danny you know who you're talking about have the right to assume that a person who is black who's fumbling for their keys in their pocket is threatening just because and this is what he wrote they're fumbling for their key they're fumbling their pockets maybe they lost their keys you know it's this kind of idiocy that i see play out on these list servers time and again and i've had it and i keep think is this the kind of person that i walk past in my own neighborhood oh it's ridiculous so we've got to stop this stuff you know, we really have to be more accepting of each other in more ways than one. And many of you who practice this sort of behavior I'm talking about, please stop it, for Christ's sakes. Now, getting back to the development of 460 Grand Avenue in Oakland, I think it's going to be a positive addition to the neighborhood. And yeah, I understand the concerns about more crowding, but the bottom line is that we can't have our cake and say that we want better restaurants and a better series of places to be in Oakland and then at the same time say that 
others who have access to the cake really can't have access to that cake because we're here first. The bottom line is that the neighborhood is in more demand, and so what we've got to do is say, how can we make sure that people can live in the neighborhood in an affordable way? This is a project that is not one that is gentrifying. It is one that's positive, and I think it should be built. In fact, from all indications, it's going to be.